Lester Green's mother never doubted her son. She was aware of his weaknesses to be used by Anita. He was a little bit too docile and too in love. But she never doubted that he would never have taken revenge for Ben Orton's framing him and send him to jail for two years. It might be hard to believe, but some parents do not always ignore a child's weaknesses, but they can understand how the child might fall into doing something wrong. What might have led him into trouble? When I told my mother I was gay, AIDS was still a problem. She always worried about everything. I never thought she would reject me, but I did worry that she would mention the AIDS epidemic. Be concerned about it. Never came up. I like to think she knew me well enough to know I would not act without thinking. My past showed that I was an adult at a young age. I don't think all parents would be able to see their child as they are and not hide from the possible flaws that could damage them. Unconditional love does not mean you should be blind and support them to the point they damage themselves. A parent must know the child's character and trust that they, as parents, did their job well and trust that God's path is the right one for the child. We do have free will. Uh, notice the mother admits she saw the danger and should have left the job before Lester was too far attached to Anita. She didn't hide from her mistake, and at the same time, she admits that Anita might have got him involved in something bad. It was her that should have put her child's best interest over her job or herself. She failed, but at least she could look in a mirror and feel regret of her failure. Doing the right thing for the child is the only thing that is right. If you can't do that, then you should restrain yourself from engaging in sex. Once a child is born, you no longer come first. Ever. While the thoughts are inspired by the book, it does not imply the writer intended to inspire the thoughts I have. The attempt is to start a discussion and get people to think about human behavior from the perspective of the closet. How this might lead to problems that make friends or partners or even business relationships difficult. I can understand why some would dismiss this effort. I find reminders in how the characters behave with memories of my own experiences and then explore that aspect. It's meant to start people to think. It is not meant to imply I am right. If you do not share the ideals with others, then how will you know if you're right? When talking, the focus should be on challenging and exposing your ideals, not in changing other opinions. That would only lead to frustration since the only person you can change is yourself.